Welcome back everyone to Rule the Waves. So I have engaged here, we just spotted. Um, Dar Darvis just identified this as a battle cruiser. Um, these were unknown ships a second ago, so let's go ahead and play this out. Um, it looks like I have encountered their two battleship fleet. We're lucky enough to be wind side of them. We'll be able to see at the very beginning of this. I spent most of this, you can see almost half this time, which is spent looping around. And I think they just destroyed one of my, um, pretty sure that they destroyed. Yeah, I think we had eight before. Now we have, well, 15 to minute. I guess they de destroyed the fort, Division 14. Anyway, uh, they sunk one of my destroyers or one of my um, MS um, minesweepers. But that's fine. We're going to go ahead and run this battle out and let the Kentucky and Arizona do what they do best, hopefully, which is um, put ships into the bottom of the ocean. So here we go. Um, I found them with the Jarvis, but now the Jarvis is really not the ship you want engaging. So we'll just uh, let the battleships take over from here. I'm not showing any logs, which is not good. Okay, good. So now they're attacking me. One of them attacked the Cleveland, which is fine. Fine by me. That They'll have to readjust actually take shots at not the Cleveland. I'm going to leave the Jarvis kind of up here just to defend them. If they decide to try to swing north on me, what I want the Jarvis to do is make a run at them, which forces them to... I don't want them to try to... If they can head... Basically, with the wind moving just almost exactly northeast, if they're more... Um, like, the wind is not affecting either of us right now. If we run parallel, it... Eventually, we're going to run parallel to each other. Is how these things go, right? Broadside to broadside. And if if we're going more north than east, then I will be um, favored by the wind. But if they're going more east than north, if we're both going more east than north, then the wind's going to favor them. So I'm going to try to force them to do more dancing, and that should make it so that I retain the wind advantage. So let's actually make our first... No, not our first turn quite yet. So you can see the way they're moving right now and the way I'm moving right now, they're probably still not um, being affected by the wind, but... Okay, we got our first hit, that's nice. And the Cleveland should move back into the fight. Let's get her going 22 though. Yeah, and the Jarvis is just gonna do her thing up here, yeah, good. Okay, we've straddled them. Let's not take too long here. Uh, more unidentified ships, that's fine. Oh my gosh, the bridge was destroyed on the Arizona. That's probably not good. I don't know what that does to her. Fire ship turning, we're not, t oh yeah, because she's the, huh. I don't know if it's affected us or not. I mean, you'd think that having the bridge destroyed would be bad, but it's possible it's not. <laughs> Okay, so we have identified them now. We have two redoubtables. That means they're only the 30,000 ton variants of the Dreadnoughts. So this is kind of the time when I'm gonna gesture, and I really want the Cleveland to get up here. So let's go have her go to squad max. Um, and yeah, just exactly what she's doing now, just run parallel to the course. Ah, oh, the Arizona is veering because I see. The Kentucky is slowing down, what? Why did they detach? Arizona just fell out of line. Okay, well, don't turn. Oh, you're going 21. Well, let's uh, just have you go 18, buddy. And we'll have you go 19 or 20, just to maintain some form here. Also, we don't want, we definitely don't want torpedoes hitting us, and right now they're stacked up in a way that torpedoes could hit either of them. Okay, good. So I'm assuming that they're, let's say they're both 14 inch guns, right? Yeah. So I'm assuming that a 17 inch hit is way more penetrating than um, a 14 inch hit. And we both have the same belt armor. In fact, we have higher deck armor, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. So I see that's a problem. We're not engaging with enough of our guns. So we're gonna have to make a hard turn to engage with more than three. I didn't notice that. So immediately the results are clear. If you fire with 10 of your guns, you can get more hits. That's pretty solid. Okay, good. So this is with the Jarvis's time to shine. She, uh, they're firing at six. We're moving 18 with that one, 20 with this one. That's good. Eventually she'll tow in and reattach. We'll have the Cleman tilt a little more. All right, let's get this going. Tons of hits now. Even the six inch guns are firing. Um, it's all good, and we're still moving more north than the wind, so it's not affecting us. 
They're doing a bit of turning here. This might be a good time for us to engage with our destroyer. However, because we're winning this so convincingly, in my own head at least, we are, um, we should win it convincingly. I don't think I'll make this run with the Jarvis because she'll be sunk so easily. And now, well, we're attacking there, but I don't. we don't need to do that. That's what the Cleveland's for, really. Okay, this is good. Now we're starting to get it. To all 10 of our guns are firing. I should have noticed that earlier. That was a really silly mistake. And we're probably doing a lot of damage. Um, let's see. Light damage, medium damage. I If they're only going 10 knots, that means that they're, they're probably more than just medium damaged. So we'll move the Cleveland in to position. More hits, more hits. Good. Let's send the Jarvis back now. It's probably about her time to... Oh, good. Arizona's actually hitting the, the destroyers as well. So this should be a clear victory for us. We could get really unlucky, and everything could change, but let's uh, change this to Flotilla. Let the Jarvis just launch a slew of torpedoes at these guys. Yeah, this is good. And now they're even turning away, which is normally the time you have to be very afraid, because <laughs> that's when their destroyers come in. But I think we've done a good enough job of actually... Oh, wow, we wrecked this one. It's on fire, even. I don't think it's light damage if you're on fire, buddy. So let's let the Jarvis not go in quite yet. We're doing so good that, uh, okay, we took another hit. We got we do have to be careful. A single turret flash fire and we're done. We're in range to launch torpedoes. I'm gonna let uh, the Jarvis launch torpedoes if she chooses. So let's actually send her up to 26. Give her a little more maneuvering speed. Let's send the Cleveland this way, which is going to mean the wind will impact her a little bit, but it'll allow us to target their escorts a little better. And since nobody hit on the last turn, let's uh, turn towards with the Kentucky, um, just so we can start uh, moving towards them. Don't let them get away. Yeah, see, critical hit, blah, blah, blah. Bad news, right? Are we on fire? No. In fact, we're only 16% damage, so that's pretty good. Jarvis, turn again. Good, so two more 17 inch hits on one of them. I think we're in pretty good shape. Jarvis is, uh, I don't know what she's really doing. She's just distracting them. Cleveland's firing at their escorts. It's good. So we'll steady as she goes. Ah, Jarvis is launching torpedoes. Well, I don't know why you're doing that. Um, I'm going to actually have the Jarvis not launch torpedoes because I don't want her engaging <laughs> destroyers. <laughs> okay, now we'll have the Cleveland come and help out. Turn hard to get out of the way. Don't obstruct the firing lines. Okay, since they're starting to peel away, we'll peel away with both of our units. That turn is also going to help with torpedoes. Okay, it looks like their redoubtable is really slow. Lots of Dune class. Okay, well, the Jarvis got hit again. Jarvis, we need you in good shape to launch torpedoes later. So. Kentucky, you're getting really close to their destroyers. Let's do another hard turn back, another hard turn back. Okay, that one looks like it's sunk. Okay, yeah, we're still hitting the redoubtables, so that's good. And this one's just dead in the water, sinking. This one is says light damage, but we can assume different. Another tons of damage, and the dune, the Cleveland's launching torpedoes. Let's have her keep going in. Let's have the, uh, okay, the Arizona reattached. Let's have a hard turn, uh, avoid torpedoes, and on top of that, we're going to make our way towards the Dreadnoughts. Now, I have seen there's some other fighting going on. I think there's another group of ships being engaged here. Yeah, it looks like there's a, probably a heavy cruiser. Is that what it was? Yeah, there's a heavy cruiser down here mucking up my ships, unfortunately, but we don't have the time to deal with that. We'd much rather sink these Redoubtables. Let's go 18. Arizona's good. Jarvis, don't get hit. Just smashing all the ships. Oh, wow. Cleveland, were you smart enough to actually go after the Redoubtable with that torpedo? You are. Well, my hero. Okay, so now at this point, we don't want to engage that one anymore, but we kind of already know that. This Dune class is, I don't know what it's doing. It's making its way over to a dead end. 
We'll have the Jarvis pursue. Actually, we don't need to. The Kentucky's probably making short work of it. Let's find out which Dune class it's hitting. Yeah, it's hitting that one. That's fine. Okay, so good job, Kentucky. Just keep going as you are. These guys are going to run into a dead end anyway. So let's preserve the Jarvis as best we can. Have her head south. Have the Cleveland head south. Keep finishing off that Dune. We can try to squeeze in a kill on that heavy cruiser as well. Yeah, so we're only firing three of our guns because the weird angle. And Cleveland just fired another torpedo. That's actually fine. She'll reload. She has two more reloads, or two total reloads. So it's another hit for that redoubtable. Just finishing off the rest of these ships here. Okay. Well, the only thing we have to worry about now is this last redoubtable, which hopefully we'll be targeting. Yes, target this guy. That's the one we want. So let's get those guys on that one and send the Jarvis that way. She's still holding her torpedo fire. Yes. And Cleveland, just go ahead and make your way that way as well. Lots of hits. None of them on our ships. All of them on their ships. The big thing left is just this last redoubtable, which I think still has, well, yep, yeah, all the turrets. So got to be a little careful there. Okay, another hit, but the 17-inch hits are coming in fast and furious, so. Okay, Arizona has detached. Let's send her south. Oh, wow. So, the Redoubtable is still active, we can see. <laughs> wow, uh, that was a good raking. Redoubtable, Redoubtable. Why is the Jarvis firing at anybody? <laughs> Silly. I mean, this guy's going down. He's tons of torpedo hits, lots of damage. Radable, 317 inch. To, okay, yeah, well, Kentucky, who's firing three? Arizona. Arizona needs to tilt south more so she can get all of her shots off. There, there we go. 10. Oh, that's Arizona. 817 inch. Huh, that's weird. Oh, one of her turrets is disabled. And I think at this point we've uh, secured victory on that one. So let's go ahead and turn back south. This will also help avoid any possible torpedoes she's launching. Uh, she's still firing at us. So, yeah, we got a pretty sizable hit. But I'm seeing mostly redoubtable. Yeah. Actually, what we can do is send the Jarvis back just to torpedo her. The Cleveland, you don't get too far away. Oh, they actually destroyed one of our turrets. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. But now I think she's sinking. Do we have torpedoes on these guys? I don't even know. I keep hitting the flag. Yeah, we do. Interesting. Why aren't they launching torpedoes? Kentucky, you know, it would be a great time for you to launch torpedoes. I mean, I say this all the time, but it's impossible to get them to do what you want them to do. Just gotta wait. We're pretty sure that she's sunk, though. That's fine. Yeah, the Redoubtable's down. Arizona, Cleveland. So we have to go a long ways for the next ship. What we'll probably do is, if this guy doesn't launch a torpedo, Kentucky, come on, man. Lots of gun hits, though. I mean... Okay, so let's disengage our lack of torpedo launching and target the battle cruiser. Okay, Jarvis launched torpedoes, that's good. So let's send her back to not launch torpedoes and just make her way, squad max, towards the dune over there, finish her off, and uh, we'll keep making our way south with everyone else. Try to intercept this last heavy cruiser, which is running amok. Looks like a clear hit. Yeah, that's gonna bring her down. Okay, good. Now, Jarvis, I actually want you to focus on firing at this guy, exactly. Any damage you can do to him, just make sure he's going down. Hmm. There it is. Two more, okay, that's fine. That's I'm gonna call that good enough. Okay, so let's go back to some fast speed. Let's, uh... whoa, Arizona's lost sight of target. Oh, that's probably this one, but She's going down. 
Okay, don't be so sure. Let's send the Jarvis back. Let's get her. Let's let her launch more and more bit of torpedoes at. Oh, interesting. Okay, now you should be able to target this. Yeah. You can never be too sure. Not sinking it is far worse than over sinking it. Ah, good. The Cleveland spotted this ship now. Now, if it is a heavy cruiser, which it does look like it is, we have to be a bit careful. We're coming in um, downwind, which is perfect, so that all our shots should be uh, in good shape to destroy them. I'm going to go ahead and head south, because if they choose to go this way, it's just fine. We They'll pen themselves into a corner, so the only thing they can really do is head south to avoid me. Let's go squad max with the Arizona, which is 14. Sad. Squad max with the Cuckoo is 12. Terrible. And uh, this guy should be supporting, so that means he'll pull back. I'll just focus on the Jarvis real fast. Come on, Jarvis, launch torpedoes. Kentucky hit the Redoubtable again. Uh, oh my gosh. Another battleship? Oh boy. Well, that's... Not what I was expecting. Damn. All right, Cleveland. This is it. This is your time to shine. How are those torpedoes? Completely reloaded. Yeah, Arizona's getting pummeled here. And Kentucky's too far away. Oh, it's an Invincible class, which I think is their massively crazy overpowered one. Yeah, the 10, 16 inch guns. That's not good. Jarvis, you are needed. Uh, hold torpedo fire. You, you're needed. How many torpedoes do you have left? Two. That's it. Okay, well, it'll have to do. Squad max away. What do we have? A DD? Okay, that's fine. Cleveland, I, I kind of want you to launch torpedoes, actually. So I need you to go 25, which is the max that we can launch torpedoes at. All right, here we go. Fire has started on the Arizona. That's just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible news. And we need to be going at such an angle that we can actually fire at the Invincible. So we can't head towards it. Otherwise, we'll only we'll disengage a lot of our turrets. So we're just going to have to hope that the Kentucky... What are you doing? Oh my gosh, of course engage that one. Good. And this guy just go right at him. Okay, we could get lucky here. Uh, this is, it'd be amazing if we were able to sink more, but... No. Don't do that yet. You can pick up survivors later. Um, you're more important for your torpedo ability. Now we're getting just pummeled. Okay, there's a hit. Okay, here's an extinguisher fire. There's no way we get hit by torpedoes. <laughs> That's the good news. All right, this is it. No targets yet. Two solid hits. Good job, Kentucky. You're coming back in a good way. Okay, now you should have the ability to target this guy. Do it. Launch those torpedoes. Come on, launch those torpedoes, Jarvis. Come on. Launch those torpedoes. You are making them turn, which is exactly what I wanted you to do. Give the Arizona some time to turn. Let's get the Kentucky to turn. Okay, let's just go in. Jarvis is already launching torpedoes. Probably at the wrong enemy, unfortunately. Even if it isn't the wrong enemy, it's not going to hit. So just go ahead and get out of there. Yeah, just try not to, to die. I actually kind of want some of the... What? Could get lucky. Ah, oh, shit. Could get extremely unlucky. Okay, so let's get the Cleveland out of there. Let the Arizona just... Where's our sight range? Okay, good. 
Let the Arizona and the Kentucky do their thing, which they should be able to do quite well. We've done enough to like perturb the Invincible. And we killed the Charmer class too, so that's even better. Get the Jarvis out of here. Okay. Um, turn in. Turn in. Boxer in. Okay. Cleveland should be launching torpedoes now. I guess that's the next goal. I think this is uh, going to be going our way, so I'm going to get a little bit bold here and try to speed things up. Looks like we're going to win. It's incredible. Got very lucky. You can actually engage this. Oh, I guess it's sinking. Okay. Then continue to do that. slow enough to launch torpedoes. Hmm. It's very reluctant to launch torpedoes, though. Okay, we need a turn so we can keep closing. She's obviously in dire, dire straits. I don't want this. Okay. <laughs> we can only attack with five guns now. Keep curling in. Don't curl away. Let's have the Kentucky run this way, actually. Even the whole point of you doing this was to launch your torpedoes. You do realize that, right? Why are you not engaging? Wow, I actually got the Kentucky. But we hit them as well. It means the Kentucky's firing again at least. That's nice. Okay, three. Finally, the Arizona's firing. Oh, okay, good. Wow. Okay, good. Incredible. So this was uh, maybe the biggest victory we've had. Very, very good. So I'm actually going to call this uh, episode to a close here. So thanks for watching, and I'll pick it up in the next uh, episode, which will be our last. I'll just update, and uh, we'll bring this series to a close. Take care.